Welcome back, Stuart. Glad to be back, Lauren. <laughs> Every Sunday, Stuart, he's the host of your weekly constitutional a radio show on Sundays and Tuesdays, but we get a little bit of a sneak peek here at New yes, Channel you 11. Yes, Because you're special and because I like you so much. Oh. I like you so much better than Josh. I'm so <laughs> glad we're doing this. We won't tell Josh that, No, we though. will not tell. No one. No one tell Josh. No. Absolutely. His mom is probably watching, by she the way. She probably is. Okay, I take, I take that back. Josh is nice, too. <laughs> okay. Okay. What's not so nice, probably, as far as a prisoner is concerned, yeah. is... Uh, Solitary confinement. Yeah, solitary confinement has become a huge constitutional issue in the last few years. And if, uh, unless you're connected to the justice system, it might not really have been on your radar. Uh, most of us, uh, when we think of solitary confinement, we think of something that's done rarely, something that's done temporarily. It's maybe a way to punish a prisoner or to segregate a particularly dangerous prisoner from the rest of the prison population. And if you think of it at all, you think of it as a rarity. Uh, well, it turns out it's not. It turns out that there are lots of states and lots of localities that use solitary confinement very frequently, and they use it with a lot of people, especially people who might have mental illness or, or maybe be children. Uh, and it turns out that it's a very, very destructive thing, that it, it really, it, it, to use the common parlance, it drives people crazy and creates greater mental issues for a number of people. And um, it's being challenged. It's being challenged all across the country. And particularly, it was challenged by a fellow who was a law professor in New York by the name of Alex Reinert. And we're going to speak with him today. Your weekly constitutional, constitutional being that main word, and I know that you're questioning, is solitary confinement mm -hmm. unconstitutional? Yeah, at least the way it's being practiced right now. And there are several constitutional provisions that deal with punishment. One of them is the Eighth Amendment that forbids cruel and unusual punishment. And then there are other uh, questions, things, issues of due process, uh, maybe even equal protection. Uh, there are all sorts of constitutional issues here. Um, but basically what it boils down to is are we mistreating prisoners? Are we taking pr people who are already very much controlled by the state, whose liberty is already being controlled by the state, and are we treating them in a way that we really shouldn't be, that's fundamentally unfair to them? Alex Reinert actually uh, participated in a, a very big lawsuit in the state of New York that's resulted in a landmark settlement and an agreement by the, uh, the institutions in, in New York that run you know, the, uh, the penal system to massively reform what they're doing. And they're in the midst of that reform process right now. So this is very much a timely subject and very much a, it's a, a sobering but a really fascinating topic. It sounds fascinating to me. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know much about life inside a prison. And the more Neither. I learn about it, the less I want to know. It's, uh, it's, it's a pretty nasty place. I don't want to go there. Yeah, I don't want to either. Have you ever been in a prison? I have done, been to jails, yeah. which I know is different than... And you took tours or did stories in um, them? We did stories there. Yeah, I've, I've been in a couple of them, a couple of times representing clients, and once I went to a maximum security prison on a tour, I don't want to go back. And in fact, even when you're there and you know they're going to let you out, oh, you're, you kind of hope and they remember. And solitary confinement yeah. probably oh, makes it all that much it's worse. It's not that much worse. It's, a, it's not, a, not a nice topic. No, not at all. But this topic is going to be aired today on the radio at 3 o'clock. That radio station is 89.5 FM radio WETS FM. Or if you can't catch it this afternoon, you can catch it in two days. That's Tuesday at 8 o'clock. Your week's weekly constitutional with Stuart Harris. Thanks, Stuart. Thank you, Lauren.